A monster. There's something in the house. It's in your head, under the bed, inside. It must come out. <laughs> talking about the movie simply called Seeds. This one is coming out on the 24th of September 2019 by Dark Star Entertainment and is directed and co-written by Owen Long. Now this is a, I guess you want to call it a psychological body horror to a certain degree. So the story focuses on this kind of middle-aged guy and uh, he is kind of returned to this kind of ancestral home. And whilst he is there, he ha he's going through a dark time, shall we say. There's some kind of like dark stuff going on in his life and he's kind of going away there to try and kind of recuperate. Uh, however, his, his brother calls upon him to ask him for some help as he has kind of split up from his wife and wants to try and get back with her. And he is asked to look after the brother's two children, this kind of young boy and I'm assuming a teenage girl, although she's actually played by a 30 year old woman. So, you know, there you go. Um, and then this kind of, this kind of uh, obviously puts pressure on him now. These kind of, the relationship with these, with his niece and, niece and nephew are, you know, it's interesting. Uh, let's just say there is some um, incestual stuff going on here. A little bit Lolita, if you know what I mean. Uh, and is this kind of adds to this kind of like this dark, uh, kind of baggage that he's got kind of hanging over this kind of this, this psychological kind of torment. Now, add to this, you've got this kind of this this creature that may or may not be real. This kind of like this thing that is potentially influencing him. But is it real? You have to watch the movie to find out. Or is it just a type of, uh, you know, a, a figment of his imagination as a result of his sort of psychosis? Well... There you go, that's the kind of the whole hook of the movie. I guess you'll have to watch it to find out, because I ain't gonna tell you. But anyway, so let's discuss seeds. So this is a kind of art house, I would say, to a certain degree, an art house horror film. It's very much a kind of a psychological horror film. Um, so lots of kind of like, you know, highbrow ideas here. Uh, lots of kind of like, um, abstract kind of cameras and, and, and kind of like you know things that are kind of meant to show the kind of the mental anguish that our kind of our main sort of character is going through so what you are seeing on screen is you know is, is sometimes hard to determine is it real or is it not so it kind of makes it um certainly have a very you kind of unique flavor so you know i would best describe this as a kind of a psychological uh creature feature meets lolita it's kind of like a very kind of like uh, somewhat of a kind of bizarre film in, the, in a lot of ways. So kudos for having uh, a film that's kind of somewhat out there, but it's not kind of like psychedelic trippy or anything like that, but it just has layers of kind of um, psychological complexness to it, I suppose, to a certain degree. I'm going to say I think the um, uh, obviously the cast do a good job in the acting. Now, uh, Andrea Chen, who plays the kind of the teenage girl, obviously they cast an older actress here because there is some sexual stuff that's going on. But I've got to say, she does look a lot younger. Um, so that, that's obviously by design. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable, I have to say, when you're kind of watching this, um, being an uncle myself. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat kind of touch and go in regards to obviously a taste thing. Um, we do see creature effects here, and I've got to say, I thought they were very well done. Um, the kind of, when we see our creature, you know, kind of, is it real or is it not? But you will see it on screen. Um, does look very good, I have to say, from what we see of it. I mean, it's not on, it's not as been loads, and you never really kind of see the full um, the full kind of shape of what what it might be. But you certainly see, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of tendrils or claws or whatever you want to kind of call them, uh, mandibles. You know, so it looks and it's done, it's done to a good standard. So there's some pretty decent effects works here. 
Uh, on the negative side for me, I, I have to say I think this movie is a little bit too convoluted. Um, it's kind of hard to grasp what's really kind of going on, I think, for a, for a, sort of a casual kind of moviegoer. So I don't think this is a film that's going to, you know, be really suitable for someone like that. You know, you've got to, you could have the underage incest stuff on one hand, and you've got very much a kind of a somewhat kind of confusing storyline. And you add those two elements together, I feel this is going to be obviously going to put a lot off. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I thought the conclusion. Uh, made huge amounts of sense, uh, if, if you want my honest opinion here. Um, yeah, the kind of what happened in the kind of, not so much the last act, but the last kind of 10 minutes of the film. I don't know, I, did, I wasn't really, it just seemed to, it didn't really kind of make some sense to me uh, in regards to what our, maybe our character does. I don't know what he was trying to get, what he was trying to accomplish through his actions. Uh, but nonetheless, there's some, there's some decent kind of effect shots towards the end as well. Uh, so overall, should you watch this film? Um, it's a very slow paced film. It's uh, definitely not going to be for everyone. If you'd like more of a dramatic, kind of like, less of a horror film, a dramatic thriller, but with kind of horror elements, and certainly one that I feel may make you uncomfortable, but not maybe through horror elements, uh, then you may want to check it out. But it's, it's well made, I think it's well shot, I think it's well acted. The storyline is somewhat original, although I don't think it completely succeeds. So I'll give this one an above average score of 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.